Yo, what's up everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are gonna go over another new run defense. Now, this is not my run defense. This run defense is being passed around like the neighborhood hood rat, right? Like, 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 a, like the joint, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go over this today. We're gonna test it against different runs. Now, will I have the correct setups and all that? I don't know, man. All right, I'm just gonna go, I'm just going by what I've been told and in messages and stuff like that. And then we're gonna see how it plays out. I'm just gonna go against the, the computer. The computer's got, if you see my gameplays, the computer has better run stick than I do, all right? So if the computer can get yards on me, then the defense isn't as good as everybody's making it out to be. But if we can slow it down, and we're gonna do all the different concepts in today's video to see where it's actually weak at. So make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Let's try to get this one here to at least 200 likes. Subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on. Come remember the Wolfpack link is in the description. All right, so we're gonna be in the New York Jets playbook and the name of the formation is the nickel 335 wide. Now, personnel wise, this is gonna come down to what you wanna do. However, what I would recommend if you have an enforcer, I would leave one of your safeties as the enforcer if he's a safety. Uh, linebackers, obviously you want them down on the line, probably the one in the middle. But then again, if you're gonna be using the middle, you probably don't want your enforcer there. So. So I got Earl Thomas here, and I'm gonna put Averett over here because he's the fastest corner on the Ravens at this moment of time. And on the edges, you could put your big hitters on the edges, bro. Like right here, you could put the safeties in the cornerback positions. I would actually recommend that more so than leaving these guys up here. But then again, if they're running inside, then you want your enforcers and stuff here. Probably your right here, you probably want like the inside stuffer, the guy that stops like inside zones or whatnot you probably want him there so he can get a good shed on anything coming up the middle it just depends man how you have your personnel set up how i would what i would recommend is probably the inside stuff what is that ability is it called inside stuff is that ability is that what it's called let me know in the comments below and then i would have enforcers one enforcer at the top and one enforcer opposite so if i have my enforcer on this side then i want my other enforcer over here where peters is but that's just how I would run it. And then all fast backs in the backfield. So three, three, five wide and it's cover two man. And let's just go ahead and look at outside zone first. Okay, stretch plays. I'm just gonna run random and let the computer do its thing. Now the setup from what I understand is spread D line, crash them down, put these two guys in QB spy. So Thomas and Ever Averett, is it Averett or Averett? Averett, I, I don't know, I don't get it either. And then you're gonna use your middle linebacker, right? And then you're gonna, bring this guy up here now shading you have to be careful as well because if your opponent picks up on what you're doing then you could get beat over the top so probably shade over the top against fast wide receivers uh shade underneath if they're throwing slants or whatnot things of that nature and then let's just go ahead and let this play play out now this is a very good one to start off with bro so we're gonna come over here and you'll see that these guys and spies actually shoot down really fast. And since I put Averett down there, he's fast. He's 93 speed, not the fastest. I think Patriots, other teams have faster, like 95 speed uh, corners. So you wanna put them here. You see how fast this guy Averett got down to the line? Let's see. Let's see how fast he got there. If we just come over here, I'm watching. I'm watching my man here, okay? Top right, top right corner. By the time he gets the ball, he's already shooting down for the running back. Look, by the time he gets the ball, he's already shooting down. So that is a plus right there. I wanna say they're reacting better in QB spies than they actually do on a blitz. So if you like sit there and blitz them, it's probably better. But let's go ahead and try for the sake of the video, let's blitz these guys and see if we get a different uh, feel for, for what's going on. But so look at the blitzing angles. They come straight down and they go inside. But that was actually a good uh, shed by that guy right there. So that is why I use the spy instead of the blitz. If you blitz, like I'm gonna blitz right here, okay, they take different angles. They take inside angles and that's not good. You see how he goes inside? And now he got the one-on-one -on -one with Henry. Let me show you guys again an instant replay because you can see the significance of the spy versus the actual blitz. So we blitz them. My man is gonna take an inside angle anyway. I'm sorry, I'm horrible. I'm gonna just be on a linebacker, but pay attention to my man Averett behind him. Look at the angle he takes. He's coming down on the blitz and then he takes an inside cut. That's not what you want. You don't want that. Now, I don't know if the spies do that. Let's go ahead and we're gonna put spies, put spies, spread the D-line, crash them down. Um, and then shade accordingly, however you want. And then you come over here with your user to the backfield. 
And let's watch Averitt on his. Yeah, so he takes an outside angle this time. Did you see that? You guys are seeing the difference between the Blitz versus the QB Spy and how it works. So in the blue, if we just leave him and then crash it down and leave the blues out there, then these guys are going to back up. I would assume since they're blue zones, they're going to back up first. Yeah, they back up first. That's not good. That helps the run game. So you see the significance of the spy. So the spy is probably something I'm going to look into myself as far as changing up the way I run my defenses. Probably uh, spy these guys, bro, because they're actually doing work versus the run. Look at these guys just jetting straight down and putting a stop to outside zones, stretch plays and whatnot. Now, there are different stretch plays that could get you. There's different setups they can do. So you'll probably have to jump in between two, four, five odd in this one. Um, I don't know if you want to bring these guys too far down. I, I mean, maybe. So here we're just going to run parallel with this guy. And it's boxing up the outside zones pretty well as far as the AI is concerned. But like I said, obviously, uh, the human factor is it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. Probably a little bit harder. But this is kind of like safe run defense because you still have some good look at avery getting there bro my 66 overall is getting there and doing work man because of the speed because madden's all about speed it's always been okay one more in outside zone let's switch it up let's see if we can find a weakness to this defense as far as the run game goes because right now outside zone ain't gonna cut it so stretch plays and all that maybe be able to be locked up with this but it just depends man it depends like on wing tight z it depends on strong h wing those are very powerful runs so uh plan accordingly if they're running like tight z you probably want to run two four five out if they're running strong h wing but then again you got to find three three five wide with two four five odd so let me know the playbook in the comments below two four five odd and nickel three three five wide all in the same playbook put in the comments below so back to cover two man let's go ahead and run let's see what do we want to run let's let's see what it does against inside zone just any inside zone, we're just gonna see. We wanna see. This is for testing purposes only. What am I doing with Earl Thomas? Okay, spread, boom, play the back. Okay, why are these guys coming down? Coming down on their own, bro. Am I pressing? I don't think I'm pressing. Inside zone, these guys, okay, okay. So inside zone looks like that it ain't gonna be able to do much. So this is where the enforcers come in, okay? They run up the middle, these guys get a free release to the running back, it seems. Let's check it out again. Free release with enforcers could cause fumbles and cause havoc and turmoil to your opponent. Now, I am in the next few videos, we'll be taking this defense into gameplay just to see how good it really is. But the way it looks now looks promising, man. Wow, this guy's already there, bro. Well, that guy, it wasn't Thomas. He was there though. Spread D line, crash down, QB spies, and then you back up with your user. So you're probably gonna see this in a lot of tournaments coming up in the future because it just seems like it slows down the run game dramatically, bro. Like, you know, Henry hasn't broken. Usually when you're in practice mode and you're trying different defenses, Henry's breaking them far, man. He hasn't broken a single one at all. Trust me, I lab a lot. I know what Henry is capable of when I'm practicing against the run. And right now we're just bottling this whole thing up, man. Like. It's insane. It, it, it's actually pretty good, this defense. I'm not going to lie. So who, who's ever defense this is, man, I mean, I'm sorry. It's all over you. You're probably selling it in an ebook, man. But, you know, it's good. It's good. This guy gets a free shot. Boom. So four or five yards, depending on if you have that, that other ability on the line, probably just bo box that up, too. I wonder if you bring these guys a little bit further in, if you can get a, good, a better effect right here. Let's just see. Or do they get picked up on blocks faster? You know what I'm saying? Maybe there's a reason for the spacing. Oh my goodness, he just comes straight down, homies. So you see right there the inside zone. Let's try another concept and see if we can find something that just beats it. I, like right now, it just seems like with the personnel I put on the field, it's working really well. So we did inside zone. I mean, we could do ISO, but you probably want to run edge blitz for that. Let's see what it does against jet sweeps, random jet sweeps. Random jet sweeps. We're trying to find a weakness in the defense. Right now, inside zones and outside runs are... Now, right there, better run stick. He'll take the outside route and go to the outside. So right there is not really a definitive answer for me. But if we could get something going in the backfield where my safeties are already back there with him, then that's going to be a plus. So we got the speed out there. 
end rounds don't look too promising. I guess it just depends on the end round. And also, you got to remember your assignment because if it's not a run and it's a pass, you're back here with your user, you're kind of screwed if they throw it to the running back. Here we go. Outside. Ooh, we got one that broke for a little bit. So that one was pretty decent. But maybe a better user could stop that because I'm not the best uh, run, run stopper. I'll tell you guys right now. I'm more of a lurker than I am a run stopper. I'll be honest. Ain't no point in lying. Boom, another jet sweep. That guy would probably would have would have done better if he took that outside route. Probably would have worked better better for him. Okay, so in the rounds are iffy. Um, but there's other defenses that can stop in the rounds and whatnot, like heavy blitzing and stuff like that. So in the rounds don't really scare me when I face them. But I can see that they're scary. So let's go ahead and try tosses now. Last one we'll try is tosses, and then we'll talk about the verdict right here at the end of the video uh what we think the defense is made of and what it's let's go ahead and do sweep random sweeps and let's just see if they can get yards now like i said the user ability is is better than the ai but i'm looking at this in like totality meaning how many times has henry been able to break for a lot of yards in practice mode and he hasn't been able to do nothing with this defensive setup. If you guys ever lab against run, you know that there's a times where he breaks free and he's off, right? He goes for yards, 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 yards. So the simple fact that he's not being able to do anything at all, we're gonna be able to tell in tosses though. Okay, so tosses aren't gonna work either. So this this is a good run defense. You blend this in with like the two, four, five odd and three, four, the edge blitz. You got some really good run defense, man. I'm not gonna lie. Guy sheds right off the line now. I know tosses were nerfed because in one year in Madden, they were really well, so they nerfed them bad, meaning it's all scripted uh, block sheds and stuff like that. You'll notice that when you run tosses that used to work in Madden, they don't work, no longer work. Like, say Madden 18 and Madden 20, like there's automatic block sheds for the defense to stop that toss. It's weird. Right here, boom. Yeah, my, my user's all right, okay? Let's be honest, my user's, it's, I, I'd be downplaying myself sometimes, but I think my user's all right. All right, last one. This toss, yeah, this toss. This is a good one to end it on right here because people be running this online. Okay, so you'll see right there that that toss looks like it could do work. So bunch base toss may be something that you can run. Let's try it again because I'm actually going to press my defense this time just to see what happens against this toss because people run this toss online still. So it's, it's actually... You see how he's trotting, bro? That's not how it's gonna be online. They're gonna be busting to the outsides. I guarantee they are. So toss plays could be a counter depending on the toss play. So bunch base could be the answer. This one's not the answer. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, don't use that one. All right, last one right here. Boom. Now if I'm running it, I don't know if you're supposed to press or not, or. I don't I would imagine you, you just you don't baseline or press, but I could be wrong. But we're just trying all the different setups. Okay, so that toss play was pretty good. So that one, bunch base, pretty good against this defense. Like I said, you just gotta know the counter. So I'm showing you guys right here. Let's do bunch base one more time and just look for the openings. Don't look, don't look at the running back running the route, running the play. Look at the openings, the possibilities he has for a user to, to jump. Boom, look at it. He's got the outside. You could take that outside and run it outside. So bunch base could be the counter to the 335 wide. So anybody watching the video this long, you know that the bunch base toss could slow this run defense down. So toss plays probably will be the counter to this defense. Now, toss plays are dead in general as far as Madden goes, but is it against the 335 wide? Let me know in the comments below, man. Make sure you drop a like. Love you guys, man. Peace.